Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the South River Mayor and Council Borough Council meeting number two on today, January 11th of 2021. Mr. Bray, will you please read the statement of notice of publication? Yes. Uh, in compliance with Chapter 231, Public Law 1975, notice says meeting was given by way of annual notice filed with the borough clerk, the home news, the Sentinel, and posted on the bulletin board in the outside window of the borough of South River Municipal Building. Further be advised the mayor and council of the borough of South River holds a regular meeting on Monday, January 11th at 7 p.m. via online video conference provided by Zoom pursuant to the provisions of the New Jersey Open Public Meetings Act and JSA 10 colon 4-8. This meeting will be held by means of use of electronic communications equipment due to the COVID-19 pandemic. No members of the public show to physically attend this meeting. The public, however, is invited to attend the meeting electronically. Sorry. The mayor and council will take formal action at this meeting. The borough is using this format in an effort to mitigate the chance of exposure to COVID-19 as part of the borough's ongoing efforts to slow the rate of transmission and avoid overwhelming our treatment centers. This action will be enforced for all existing regular meetings until otherwise notified by public notice. Thank you. Will you please call the roll? Mayor Krenzel? Here. Councilwoman Ballas? Here. Councilman Siula? Here. Councilman Gindi? Here. Councilman Kurchensky? Here. Councilwoman Mayra? Here. Council President Overture? Here. Thank you. We will now have the salute to the flag. I pledge allegiance, allegiance to the flag, the flag of the United, United States, States of America, America and to the, the republic for which it stands, one nation, one nation, nation under, under God, God indivisible, indivisible liberty, liberty, liberty and justice for all. For all. Thank you. I ask that we have a moment of silence and in your thoughts and prayers to remember Brian Sicknick and his family. This tragedy, which happened hundreds of miles away, has struck at the heart of this town. The outpouring of grief has helped the family get through this horrendous time. Please remember Brian and his family in your thoughts and prayers. Thank you. Last year, we introduced a new agenda. We did away with the business meeting because over the years, it had outgrown its usefulness. <coughs> Instead, we have just one meeting and you've heard how it begins much as the other meetings also uh, have begun. We have the call to order, the st no, statement of publication, the uh, call to the roll, salute to the flag, moment of silence. And now we would have proclamations, honors, awards, presentations, which we don't have. We'd then go on to what I call the agenda session. The, this is sort of the vestige of the old business meeting. We would discuss matters here that we are not gonna be voting on today. And there is none today, so we will be moving on from there. Mr. Mayor? Yes. Um, Councilwoman Mira had a had a uh, a suggestion, and I let she jump on her to, to talk about it about the the dog licenses and uh, stuff put on the agenda about waiving that like we did last year. Councilwoman, I, I don't want to steal your thunder, but that's this was your this was your thought. You were you asked me if we could put it on, and uh, probably we can vote on it because it doesn't take effect until February. But if, go ahead, please. There you go. Can you hear me? hear you okay uh yeah i had i d didn't have a board of health meeting yet but i figured since the um the rabies shot clinic was um canceled or postponed until further notice if um if we as the borough and uh, the council members could waive the fee for the dog and cats license for this year. I know a lot of people depend on um, getting their rabies clinic through our free rabies clinic. Um, so that was just, I didn't know if we needed a resolution or not, or if anybody was against or for it, uh, just until, uh, you know, we can get our rabies clinic going, which will hopefully be when it warms up since we want it to be outside. Well, uh 
that would be a good thing to discuss at our agenda session. Uh, what uh, I think the best thing to do is to have our professionals uh, look into this to make sure that uh, it would be a, uh, something good, that it's legal, and also how to go about doing this. So, uh, Mr. Bray, uh, would you put this down definitely for a matter to be discussed at our next meeting? And I would also say, Mr. Mayor, I know you want it to have discussed, but please keep in mind that effective January 31st or after January 31st, we start um, charging the late fee. Okay, mm -hmm. very good. If we can bring this up at the next uh, meeting, like I said, uh, it'll probably be discussed among the professionals. And if it's all right, then we will, uh, we can even put it down directly on the consent resolutions. We have the consent resolutions there so that if, as the agenda comes out, if anybody has any questions, like for example, your idea uh, is such that if it's doable, it will be put on the consent agenda. If anyone has any questions, they would ask before the meeting what would be going on. And then a general discussion could uh, come about as we are discussing it at the regular meeting or there may not be any discussion whatsoever. Everybody thinks it's a brilliant idea and just vote ahead on it. So definitely it will be discussed, at least discussed at our next meeting. Very good. The ordinances uh, concerning second reading public hearing, uh, there's none today. And the ordinances first reading by title only, there are also none of those. This is where in the part of the agenda we would have them. We now come to our reports. This is where the professionals uh, give their reports as to what is happening. We initially begin with our borough engineer. So I will turn it over to Mr. Cott. <coughs> Hello, Bruce. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Good evening, everybody. Thank you for the opportunity. Um, improvements to Alborn Street and the 2019 curb and sidewalk uh, program. Alborn Street, there's just a, three little punch list items, which are all the same thing. And it's just some signposts that have to be swapped out for the newer version. That's all it is. The curb and sidewalk program, as far as we are aware, is complete. Well, number two, you awarded that at your last meeting and we've issued the contracts to the contractor. Once they return them to us, I will forward them to the borough for execution and we'll schedule a pre-construction meeting. The George Street Firehouse work is complete. We are just waiting for our environmental division to tell us they have all the paperwork they need for the soil that was removed and that everything is ordered in order there. And then we will close out that project. The 2020 local aid program that was last year's trust fund, the borough received a $580,000 grant. You've authorized that work and we are beginning on that. And for 2021, the DOT state aid programs uh, the borough issued a grant request in the amount of 554000 approximately, which was for the uh, unfunded portion of Alborn that was submitted previously, as well as for Clayton Court and Ferris Street. The DOT has awarded the borough a $475,000 grant and change, and I think that will probably cover the state participating items or come very close to doing so. So while there is a gap there, I don't know if it's as large as it might seem. And then it's further on that topic. It's my understanding that the mayor and council president are planning to continue the curb and sidewalk program in 2021. And that being the case, I would recommend it be combined with this project so that uh, much like it was last year, um, because it seemed to work out very well for both the residents as well as the borough. And that is it. I'll answer any questions you may have. Anyone just have any to, questions for Mr. Koch? Mr. Mayor, just to, yeah, to echo what Bruce said, as you and I had spoken with Mr. Koch, um, things went well. I asked Mr. Koch, everything went with the uh, curb and sidewalk program last year. It was very successful. A lot of residents used it. There were no complaints, none that Bruce, none that we're aware of any, any, any major complaints or any complaints of it. So no, the thought process was to get it on everybody's radar now. Um, we'll get the, uh, uh, not, that, not that long in the future, but we'll, we'll get the uh, um, applications up on the, on the website and uh, go forward 
uh, with it when we do the uh, when the state aid program for 2021 gets uh, gets adopted, we'll tie it all in and, 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 and bid it out like we did last year. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Anyone else? I just have a quick question, Bruce. Yes. Now, I wasn't on last year, so would you just be able to tell me what were the streets for the 2020 uh, local aid program? I took them out and I, it was Alborn Street. It was Alborn. As I recall, that was the Alborn Street project. Oh, okay. So, okay. That was it. So what this, what the 2021 did, it was we had to shorten it because there wasn't sufficient funding. And part of the 2021 project was to continue Alborn down to the limits that we first applied for when that application was submitted in 2020 or for 2020. Okay. So we stopped, we cut it back two blocks, as I recall, because the funding wasn't sufficient. And in this case, we're trying to finish that up. Thank you. You're welcome. Anyone else? Okay. Thank you, Bruce. Have a good night. Thank you. Good night, everybody. Good night, good night Bruce. 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 Mr. Zenga, how are we today? Good. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, just a couple items on the agenda. Uh, the first three resolutions are professional service contract for architect services for roof repairs. Uh, next one is the fuel pump replacement down at Public Works and the purchase of the fire truck. These were all from the 1221 uh, bond ordinance that was adopted. Next resolution is making Stephanie Shando from the Office on Aging full time. Uh, Office on Aging received a grant to cover her salary full time. So now we're memorializing by resolution. That's it. Any questions for Joe? Nothing here. Thank you. Mr. Soares, how are you this uh, fine day? I'm good, man. How are you doing? Okay. On Friday, we had a uh, water main break on 5th Street. It was repaired that day. And also, this Wednesday, we're having the uh, collapsed catch basin on Foothills is uh, being repaired on Wednesday. That's all I have there. Okay. Very good. Thank you. I have a question sure. for H. Yes. I know I, I mentioned that water problem at the end of Cam Avenue. And w when you go all the way down to Cam to Whitehead, that mm -hmm. flooding problem is is that in fact runoff from seven acres and is there anything that can be done to prevent it because now it's just ice yeah that's definitely the runoff from there and i i checked it out the only thing i could see is you would have to pipe that whole entire section there both sides and get it to flow into the catch basin on the corner there so who would, would would that be his responsibility would, to do because it's his property? There would be yeah, you'd have to go on their property to do that. Okay. And I noticed there's fencing going up on Willard Avenue. Right by it's South part, Side. No, that's a guardrail. Guard oh yeah, what oh that's a guardrail going up because I didn't see the finished pro product of that. Okay. Yeah, guardrail for the substation. Okay. That's all I wanted to know. Thank you else thank you sir chief how are you today good mayor how are you okay good. i don't have anything for the agenda but i just like to remind everyone that uh, the police department is still hiring looking for a uh, dispatcher telecommunicator uh the nixle went out today uh trying to fill that one last spot that we have uh, applications can be picked up through the borough website and we are also still looking for part-time per diem um, crossing guards uh, that application can be picked up at the, at the police department. Um, but uh, that, that's all I have. If anybody has any questions for me, I'll be more than happy to answer them. Thank you. Mr. Bray, anything from your side? Um, yes, just a couple of quick things. We're in the midst of uh, reorganization, uh, sending out um, information to the different professional service uh, 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 entities that uh, were appointed at reorg and getting the contracts uh, fully executed for same. Um, we currently have actually quite a number of mercantile licenses that we're working on, including a new uh, operator of uh, where Caferro's Pizza was located, a, um, another eatery that will have uh, smoothies, 
uh, a Caribbean themed restaurant, um, a new owner to Bagel One. And then on liquor licenses, we have one liquor license, which is a pocket license that is being transferred to a location. It's a uh, liquor store, which will be out on uh, Old Bridge Turnpike. And then we also have a transfer for another licensee. Um, also, uh, it, it is operating like a liquor store, but it's actually a, um, it's what's called a broad C, which allows them to operate as a bar and a liquor store. And just for informational purposes, that license um, sold for $300,000. So that's what a liquor license gets in uh, the borough of South River um, currently. Um, and, and that's it. Thank you. Any questions for Bill? I have a question, Bill. Yes. Um, are we not posting um, on our agendas the mercantile license that we get anymore? No. The, um, thank you for, for asking. And um, quite some time ago, council adopted an ordinance to allow those to be approved administratively. So we no longer, I'm not sure why it wasn't done immediately, but council doesn't need to act. Um, when we have a deputy clerk, we were um, posting a report on the new mercantile licenses that have been issued. Um, during COVID last year, we didn't have a lot of mercantile licenses really at all. Um, so we didn't um, need to do a report. Um, and, and just with everything going on right now, I, I had no time to post a report. And actually the we have about five or six mercantile licenses. They're in the process of approval. So we haven't actually issued one yet. Um, so, um, but by the end of the month, I could provide a report for council if they would like. I would just, I, I guess if you guys would be okay with it, just for new businesses, when we do get a mercantile license, if we could put it on our agenda for new business so that we can let the people know that we are having new businesses in town. <laughs> It doesn't necessarily have to be on the agenda, but it could be done through a report. So that would be good. Okay. Make it so, Mr. Bray. Mr. Uh, Lundensky, uh, how are you uh, today? I know that yours was a day like mine. Yes. Uh, thank you, Mayor. The only thing that really hasn't been covered by the other professionals, so I just wanted the council and the public to know that we are making substantial progress in the water treatment plant, and uh, we are moving up our return to using South River water to possibly as early as the beginning of March. Excellent. Thank you. Any questions for Mr. Lundensky? Then at yeah. this point in the agenda. Just one thing. I'm sorry, Mr. Mayor. Our, um, I think you and I and the mayor and I think maybe a couple other council people, we got a couple of emails in the last, oh God, 48 hours from people about certain contractors and issues is that it that's that's nothing within our purview is it about I, people i haven't gotten any i will forward them on i got a couple wanting to we got, yeah we had we got them this afternoon yeah yeah with well, after work i hadn't seen them yeah i think like, that's about when they came in afterwards. yeah they came in like i want to just you might want to just take a look at those in the morning there seems to be there seems to be some issue with a contractor with roofing or something else? Yeah, and not and not and basically not performing all that they were supposed to do. And you might just want to take a look at FYI art. Just take a look at them. You might want to uh, and talk with with different code code people to make sure that uh, what's going on with this. I, I I wasn't completely following it. It was kind of late in the day, and it, it, it just appeared that there were some issues with the contractor and and, and dealing with with the, the the residents in town. Okay, we can, I can check in that. And uh, just as an FYI, if anybody has seen some work being done on Water Street next to Eagle Tire, that has a stop work order on it uh, as of today uh, through the zoning department. Um, they were bringing in some soil and doing some work without any permits. So that's been stopped. Great, thank you. Oh. All right, I saw some work today on Jackson Street by the firehouse. Were they doing some clearing of the sewers? I I don't know. The only thing that could be is could could be the environmental firm still checking. It's right by that it, right by that car lot. They use car lot. That's like when you come down Rarity and you run right into it. They were working right there. Well, that could be the environmental firm. We have some testing monitoring okay. wells. 
they could have been taking samples. Okay. All right. Very good. The next part of this, of the agenda is- You forgot to borrow attorney, my friend. To borrow attorney? Ah, oh, there you are. <laughs> It's okay, Mayor. Uh, I don't have anything for tonight. So oh, if anybody oh, has anything for me, that's fine. Uh, I'm forgetting where everybody's sitting. That's how I go by in the orders where everybody sits and I'm forgetting it. So that's why I, tonight the governing body do their reports. These are the reports of the various liaisons. Later on, we'll do the, uh, for the good and welfare of the borough. But now if there's anything to report on the... Uh, various committees and things that are going on, uh, now is the time to do it. And so I'm gonna just simply run in alphabetical order. We'll start with Councilwoman Ballas. Okay, thank you. So I'm first now. Ooh. Um, in reference to the Board of Ed, they are still planning to return to hybrid learning on February 1st. They did sponsor the COVID testing. What was that a week and a half ago? Over 500 people were tested they're planning to do one at another date and time, and they will announce that soon. And anybody that needs to just keep track with the schooling on their uh, website, you can check it every day. There's always some new information. Uh, Mr. Mayor, if I can go off the script tonight, I would like to do that, if that's okay. Fine. Okay, um, last week we all learned of the tragic and senseless death of a true hero and son of South River, U.S. Capitol Officer Brian Sicknick. It has been said by his family and friends that he died doing the job that he loved. Please keep Brian and his family in your thoughts and prayers. We send our sincerest condolences and are deeply saddened by this loss. That's it. Thank you. Thank you. Um, the there's been talk uh, possibly the town doing something uh, in memory of Brian. Um, I have spoken to a member of the family right now that with so much going on, uh, that's gonna be put uh, basically on the side until the family can at least bury the poor man. And then uh, we'll discuss with the family as to what something that, if they would want anything to be done for it. Maybe him. some something in the springtime. Maybe we could, we, we could revisit that then. That would be wonderful. Yeah, so we'll continue. That's it. That. That's all I have. Okay, then. Just, you know, stepping out for a moment again. Uh, one of the things that I would like to see this year, and I've really made it a point to make sure that the various commissions and committees are staffed, is that I do want them to meet. I, you know, if I could figure out how to run a Zoom meeting, anybody can figure out how to run a Zoom meeting. So if this old fossil can do it, you know, you young people, you can do it. And so therefore I would like to see the EDC meet, which has not met in years, the Board of Health, the uh, Recreation, all of the various uh, committees to do so, to meet, to post your agendas and to continue because at the rate that we are going, we probably will not be meeting again face-to-face -face till at least June, and if not beyond. And we can't lose another year to COVID. We have to continue onward, and just as we're doing it here, so we will continue with our various committees. So be on the lookout, because if you're not, I might run a meeting. And if you <laughs> these meetings get to be long, we ain't seen nothing yet. Uh, Mr. Siula. Yes, thank you, Mayor. Um, I'm going off the beaten path, too. As Donna said, I just want to extend condolences to the Sickening family uh, for that tragic loss. Um, as a first responder, um, I understand the... Basically, I understand what it entails to be a first responder. So again, my condolences go out to the family. Um, and that's all I have for this time, Mayor. Thank you. Very good. Thank you, sir. Well said. Mr. Gindi. Thank you. Um, we will have our next planning board meeting uh, Tuesday, uh, January 19th. <coughs> the next zoning board meeting, which would be uh, the following Tuesday, January 26th. 
Uh, both meetings will be Zoom. Uh, if you could, and if you want to, you could reach out to Art Mendensky. Uh, he'll give you the, uh, the uh, passcode as well as the uh, way to get into it. Uh, and then our next Parks and Rec meeting will be the Tuesday, February uh, 2nd, which is gonna be the first Tuesday of every month. As of right now, uh, we don't have anything in line as a passcode or a, a member, you know, to get in. But um, next meeting, I'll be arranging, you know, more information on that. That's all I have. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Mr. Gerchensky. Thank you, Mayor. Um, first, uh, let's see. <laughs> Got me, you caught me off guard for a second. Um, our DPW is out there working, patching potholes and uh, doing whatever work they possibly can when the weather permits. Uh, also, I want to remind the residents that leaf pickup at the curbside is done for this year. Um, if you have any leaves that are left over and possibly there's some areas and everything, we want you to please bag them up or can them in an open container and leave them at the curb on or at your, in front of your residence on Monday for pickup. Um, aside from that, we continue to work on with the water department as our um, business administrator had stated and hopefully we will be coming online soon. Our new well is in progress or the contract has been issued and everything and it should be coming about this summer, hopefully. With that, I thank you, Mayor. Thank you. And to our new old council member, hello, councilwoman. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, obviously, I haven't met with any of my committees yet, but I did speak with the previous uh, president of the Board of Health. Uh, we will be scheduling a meeting for next month so they can do their reorganization. They are trying very hard to um, figure out how this year will be with all their events and uh, plan it accordingly because they don't want to fall behind like last year and not meet. So we will be having our Zoom meetings. Um, the other struggle we have, of course, is the uh, Board of Health Secretary, which was Debbie Jones, who retired, uh, I guess is still trying to figure out how to set it up with whoever will be taking her spot. Um, but that will be happening in the near future. Uh, other than that, I don't have anything, but I do want to give my condolences to the Sicknick family as well. And um, hope that the tragedies of uh, last week don't uh, progress into next week with everybody going to Washington, D.C. And uh, hopefully everybody stays safe. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Eppinger. Thank you, Mayor. Well, I'll, as one of those youngsters, I, I, I take up your challenge of, uh, of having Zoom meetings and such with my uh, committees because uh, it's an important thing to have happen. But in all honesty, the two, the two main things are, number one, the library, as people know, the, the, we had an issue with the lights. Um, there, was a, there was a transformer issue, uh, which caused the library to close at, uh, at, at sundown because of the fact that the parking lot obviously was dark. That we got an email today has been resolved. So the library will be resuming its new, it's, excuse me, it's normal COVID changed hours. Um, and you can check into the, uh, the check online and you can stop by the library during, 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 during hours to see what's going on there. We'll have our reorganizational meeting. Um, I think it's the day after our next meeting or our next meeting. So I think it's the, so for the 25th, I would think it'll be the 26th. The other thing that we have is that I know Mr. Zanga uh, is working diligently on uh, preparing the budget or getting the budget ready for review. Um, as soon as he and I have a chance to catch up, uh, the budget committee this year is Mr. Siula and Council Mumira. We will, uh, we will get together for our, our meetings so we can discuss the budget. Um, and that will ha that'll happen probably near the end of this month into February. And Joe, remind me again about the uh, about about everybody about the dates as far as we have you know we have to have it adopted by, or has the state or has the state even decided this year? They did. They pushed it back just like last year. So um, it's in March introduction and then end of April uh, adoption. So we've got yeah. we've got you know we've got time. Thank you, Joe, and we will we'll be we'll be ready for that in the, in the, and we'll sit down um, sooner than later for our first of which will probably be 
two or three other meetings as well. So uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. That's what all I have for her right now. Okay. Thank you. Um, I have nothing general to report, but staying on with uh, Brian Sicknick, I received uh, two emails. One is addressed, Mayor, on behalf of all of Highland Park's governing body, please forward our profound sadness at the passing of South River's own officer, Brian Sicknick, to the young officer's family. Officer Sicknick will be remembered as a true American hero who died protecting our democracy against the lawless crowd. May his memory be a blessing. And that was from Mayor Mittler over in Highland Park. Also, I received Mayor Krenzel, would you be so kind as to pass on my most heartfelt thoughts and prayers to Officer Sicknick's family and friends. The fact that he died defending and protecting the United States Capitol and the dedicated public servants in this building truly personifies Officer Sicknick's commitment to doing his job, to going above and beyond. And it was written by Patty Clapper, the Pitkin County Commissioner in Aspen, Colorado. So this is truly, his death has truly touched the entire uh, nation. So again, remember him in your thoughts and prayers. Moving on to, with our agenda, we now come to that part, which we still, as required by state law, but we'd still have it, a public comment. Uh, you can either literally raise your hand or use the Zoom raising hand. Mr. Bray will recognize you. You'll be given 10 minutes. A lot of places give only five or three. We still give our 10 and uh, you'll be able to speak. We do ask that you give your name and address. So we'll take a moment and wait. On first call, second call, third call. Motion to close. Motion has been made by Councilman Ballas, seconded by Councilman Zula. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Against, the ayes have it. We next come to that part of our agenda called the consent resolutions. There is no controversy concerning these. Therefore, they are read by the clerk and then they are voted upon. There is no discussion. They're simply voted upon unanimously. Mr. Bray. Thank you, Mayor. Just to uh, uh, mention on the record that revised resolutions for number 58 and number 57 were distributed this afternoon to correct some minor uh, uh, errors in the first draft. <clears throat> Whereas resolution 2021-1 authorizes Borough Council to utilize the consent agenda to adopt various resolutions of a routine non-controversial nature at one time now therefore be it and is hereby resolved that the below listed resolutions are hereby adopted by Council and Holes that same were individually acted upon. Number 55, award contract for architectural services for roof repairs. Number 56, authorized fuel pump replacement via state contract. Number 57, authorized purchase of fire truck via state contract. Number 58, a point program coordinator with Office on Aging, Stephanie Chando. Number 59, approved utility consumer refunds. Number 60, authorized January 2021, South River Board of Education requisition for taxes. Number 60, authorized February 2021, South River. Board of Education requisition for taxes. Number 62, approved December 21st, 2020 and January 1st, 2021 minutes. Number 63, approved bills. Thank you. Your pleasure on the consent resolution. Motion to move the consent Second. resolutions. Motion has been made by Mr. Gindy to approve the consent resolution. Seconded by Mrs. Ballas. Roll call. Councilman Ballas. Yes. Councilman Seula. Yes, with the extension from number 57 and 63 um, bills 03134 and 03139. So noted. Councilman Gindy. Uh, uh, yes, with the extension of uh, 57 as well as uh, the uh, bills from 63, 0314 and 0319. So noted. Councilman Kuchensky. Yes. Councilwoman Mara. Yes. Council President Epicher. Yes. And the consent resolutions have been adopted. The executive session uh, is normally scheduled at the beginning of the meeting because if we have an outsider coming in, an outside professional, we want to get them in and out as fast as possible. If there isn't, we will have the executive session after the uh, consent resolutions rarely do we have anything discussed uh, voted upon i should say afterwards but that's so that everybody can then just leave the meeting and not have to uh 
wait for us to return because there's nothing really after that. The new business that is on the agenda would be for those resolutions in which there is some controversy, that there's some discussions and that cannot fall under the consent resolutions. Being that there is none, we come to the governing body comments. And this is for the good and welfare of the borough. This is where we announce various matters that are coming up, when you can get your leaves picked up, when you can get your leaf bags picked up, changes in times, things like that. So uh, without further ado, I'll just run through everybody. Councilwoman Ballas, do you have anything to add? Um, I just wanna, again, Send condolences to the Witkowski family on the passing on of Leon, or as we all fondly called him, Hutch. I just want to let them know I'm sorry for their loss and just be safe out there and careful. And that's all. Thank you. Thank you. That's, that's right. He had passed away there. That's, uh, Councilman uh, Siola. Yes, Mayor. Um, I've been in contact with uh, a good friend of the councils, Mr. John Scala. And he just asked me to wish everybody on the council a very happy new year. And that's all I have. Thank you. Please wish him the very best yes. also from all of yes. us. Uh, Mr. Gindy. Thank you. I know we've spoken about Brian Sicknick, but we will never uh, forget who he is. He was an individual that walked the streets of South River. Um, he's 42 years old when he lost his life. But this is the man that served with the National Guard Police uh, took two tours, Enduring Freedom, as well as Desert Shield, um, settling down with the Capitol Police. Uh, he was on a rapid response team and he lost his life on January 6th. This is something that's uh, depressing and sad, especially for any type of first responder, uh, whether you're a firefighter, uh, EMT, um, police officer, uh, for that matter, even a soldier. Uh, this is unexcusable. It's uh, disgusting. It's sad. Uh, something that should have never happened, happened. Um, but you know, talking about police officers, police officers are uh, police officers for life, pretty much. And um, there was another police officer that day that also lost his life. He was off duty, but he was walking the hallways like he usually does. Uh, officer Howard, uh, I could be pronouncing this wrong, lied been good. Uh, he was a 15 year veteran, 51 years old. He also lost his life along with uh, Brian Sickman. They will be both remembered and uh, very well missed. That's all I have. Thank you. Thank you, well said, Mr. Uh, Gendy. Uh, Mr. Uh, Gurchensky. Thank you, Mayor. Um, I wish to extend my sincerest condolences to the Sickman family um, for their losses. And uh, it's been a hard time of the year and everything like that, too. We've had a lot of losses throughout the borough personal friends and what have you. Um, with that, hopefully 2021 will be a lot better. Um, I'd also like to extend uh, my appreciation for our first responders for what they do for us, how they take care of us, our police, fire, um, Robert Wood Johnson, and uh, DPW. With that, uh, that's all I have, Mayor. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Uh, Councilwoman Mara. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, I just want to mention I, I did spend the weekend outside. I know it was a bit cold, but my kids are sick of being indoors. Uh, we did go to Daly's Pond and uh, we also went to um, Varga Park. And I do want to say it was a good job that they did with the uh, new park equipment at Varga Park. Uh, the, the, the tar floor or like the jumping floor is great. And I would hope that going for forward, maybe we could think about putting that in some of our other parks to help um, not have as much flooding as we do in some of our parks like Fitzy's. But uh, that park turned out very nice. It, it has always been my favorite park, even though some people complain that it's not in a good area. Uh, but it, it was nice to see more people outside, even though it was re really cold, so. Good job on that. Um, other than that, I do have one quick question since I thought about it from Daly's Pond. The um, the fountain in the pond, it's not there. Is it being repaired or? It usually freezes over the, the aerator, I think is what, yeah. It's the it's aerator, on. hello, yes. The aerator burnt out. So we're in the process of uh, we're going to be purchasing a new one for dailies. 
Okay, because it was like, I want to say 70% frozen this weekend, but there are areas that are, and I just hope nobody gets the idea of getting on top of that pond and falling in. So, but that's all I have. Hey, uh, Age. Yes. Do we have signs posted on Daly's Pond? Yes, there's signs out there, people. All right, that's all I can. Okay. But a good point, Councilwoman. The fact is, is that there are people who will still do that. They will go out there, even if it freezes over, it's like, oh, wow, we could. Or, well, it's not frozen over there, but it's frozen over here. And well, that was the first thing that came to my daughter's head when she saw that it was frozen. Yeah. Ooh, we could go ice skating. I said, no, you cannot. We did at one time. Yes, yeah. we did. Where we learned how to ice skate many moons ago. Many, many moons ago. <laughs> and bonfires. Yep. Very good. Mr. Eppinger. Thank you. Uh, so I'll start off on the somber note as well. And I, I again, I uh, just wanted to, uh, I, my condolences and obviously on behalf of the entire borough, the mayor has done that already The to the Sicknick family. You know, it's, we see all these uh, horrible things that have been going on over the past year. Um, and we watch it on our TV from the comfort of our houses in South River. And, you know, now all of a sudden something is just beyond words, tragic, I don't even, doesn't even do it justice, but uh, it's hit home. It's hit home to South River. I know that all of us, all the members of the governing body have been contacted by various residents and, and reached out about what they can do. And, uh, you know, and I think the fact that, uh, that everybody tonight here has expressed their, their sympathy, deepest sympathies for the family and just what, a, what, a, what an American tragedy this is that just happened to hit home in South River. And, uh, you know, the Sicknick family, you're in our prayers and always will be. And we will figure out sooner than later what we can do when, when, uh, when they're ready to discuss and figure out what we can do best to, to, to remember and move forward from there. Um, again, it's, it's just words. There are no words. And uh, all we can offer is our, our prayers, our sympathy, and our condolences to the Sicknick family. Um, uh, to Council Mira. Uh, thank you for noticing the, uh, the, the work at the parks. Um, one of the things that you had mentioned, I don't know if age has gotten to it yet, but you mentioned to it when we put the one piece in about trying to make sure that the one section is bigger, do we, we're, either it was frozen or we're going to get to that age. The one piece of equipment that we put in a couple of years ago that with the, that the slides too close to the end. Yes. We're, we're going to get to that, right? That's, on, that's on our list. And, yep. and, and you'll also be happy to know that uh, one of the things we will be discussing um, in our budget in our budget discussions this year, again, will be additional work in various parks. Um, and hopefully we can, we can, we can, you know, because again, we, we, we are going to try to, and Mr. Seal can, we could speak to this, is where we wanted to last year spend some money at, uh, at um, I, I call it Leonard Dean or Shine Fine Park. Um, and we, we, we got some plans drawn up for that to do that. And, and you can give Mr. Lundunsky some, some, some kudos for the uh, fiber, what do we call it, Fribor, Fribor? What is it called, Art, that, that, that's underneath the... Uh, yeah, fiber. Fi yeah, that, uh, that it's, uh, it's a little bit more expensive, but it lasts a lot longer. And, as, uh, and it's been Mira tested already that they, the, girl, the girls and your son like it. So that's, a, that's the, what we need to hear is that it, it, it's supposed to last longer and be better for, for, for the kids anyway. So we'll be doing that. And uh, really, that's about all I have, Mr. Mayor, for tonight. Very good, then. Thank you. Uh, I have nothing uh, really to report. I have given my reports and made my statements uh, throughout the meeting. We now come to that part of the meeting where we will adjourn. I ask, is there anything else to come before us? Hearing nothing, I request an adjournment. We will be Motion to adjourn. To Second. Leave. <laughs> <laughs> Usually they wait until I finish talking. <laughs> anyway, Councilman Gindy has made the motion to adjourn, seconded by Mrs. Ballas. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Against, the ayes have it. I wish you a good night, and we'll see you in Thank two you. weeks.